Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I've been down here in the shop all day, working. Two days in a row now, working. Three days in a row now, working. <laughs> I made a little knife, a little uh, rocker chopper for Alicia, the very first knife I ever forged in my life. That is on my other channel. I will uh, link that in the top right corner of this video at the very end. So you can go to that channel. Normally I link my dentures versus food channel where it says other channel at the end of the video. This time I'm going to link Bill's Life Like It or Don't at the end of this video. A little circle at the, on the right side of the video on the top right corner. Click on it. You can watch me make this beautiful little knife for Alicia. Now, uh, and you know I'm building a little, I'm, I'm getting ready to build a little sand trike and things like that. Uh, I started doing a little forging. Uh, you know, just little things um, at this point. With my shoulder pain, I can't do a hell of a lot right now, but I can do little things. And I know that when you first get your dentures, we all have this tendency to think it's the end of the world. <laughs> we all have this thing in our head, you know, why did I do this? I can't function, I can't eat, I can't, and it's mentally disturbing. I know it is. But please understand, life goes on. So you can do two things. You can choose to be miserable and piss and moan and complain and bitch and gripe and not try and just keep bitching and griping and complaining and not make any effort except bitching and griping and complaining. Or you can get on with your life. Life goes on. When you're feeling sorry for yourself because your dentures don't quite fit right, you're aggravated because you know, they're uncomfortable, that you don't like the color, whatever the case may be, look out the window or take a walk outside for a minute. Kids are still playing, the wind is still blowing, dogs are still barking, cars are still going by. Life goes on, with or without you, life goes on. I personally would prefer to be a part of that, not sitting at it, looking out the window, wishing I could be a part of that. I personally would rather just take it up and just grit my teeth, so to speak, and get on with it. Life goes on. With or without you, life goes on. So, it's your choice. Now, believe me, I understand the bitching and complaining and pissing and moaning. I did enough of that myself. I complained, I bitched and moaned, but I kept moving forward because I knew life goes on. With or without me, life goes on. So I'm making this video on my phone. You can probably hear the washing machine in the background over here, right there. My brother's washing a load of clothes. It's difficult for me to make videos when my brother's home during the week. Because I don't just have a free reign to set up the camera anywhere I want in the house and make a video because my brother's been listening to music all day and so I can't set up in my room or in the kitchen or anything or I'll get a copyright strike. And it's really not fair for me to say to him, hey, turn that shit off, I gotta make a video. It's his house. <laughs> I just pay rent. <laughs> So it's really not fair for me to do that. He probably would if I asked. Because, you know, he's that kind of guy. But I thought I'd make this video downstairs in the gay garage. In the gay garage. The gay garage. As you can see, we remodeled this garage last year. And I don't know if you saw that on his channel or not. We put up all this paneling. 
we painted the ceiling, put up, I put in all these lights, I put all these lights in, my brother helped. Uh, we organized everything on shelves, this is my brother's grinder, we organized everything, it's fairly clean, we're starting to get a little bit of a mess back here, that's all my brother's shit that he took off of that little quad over there, and there's my engine right there sitting on the floor. And there's the seat to my trike sitting right there. So I'm, you know, I'll be starting on that pretty soon on my other channel too, because life goes on. <laughs> life keeps moving forward, and I'm part of that. I'm moving forward right along with life. I love it. Just moving forward. So, yeah. What I was saying is that, yes, we all have our bad time with dentures. We all have our aggravations. We all have our frustrations. See, if I bring it up here where the light is shining down on my face, it's beautiful. Well, my face not, but the video is beautiful. But if I drop it down here where the light is shining more down on the camera, not so much. But that's okay. My arm's tired of holding this damn thing up. Uh... So yeah, <clears throat> like I was saying, it's uh, it's just part of it. I don't know if the video will get fuzzy if I come over here or not. I'm going to see if I can put you on my brother's tripod without shutting off the camera. My brother's got the same tripod I had for a long time. Let's see if I can get you set up on here real quick. Hold that thought for just a second. I still got more thinking. I still got more talking to do, so hold that thought. There we go. How's that look? Does that look all right? Let me move. Let me move back a little. There. Does that look better? Are you happy now? <laughs> Life keeps moving. So, yeah. The point I was trying to make is that no matter what we do. You know, it doesn't matter. If you have a car accident, life goes on. People keep going on without you. Maybe not loved ones and stuff, but you know, life in general keeps moving. Keeps moving forward. The earth keeps spinning. So yes, we all have our issues when we first get our dentures. We're all upset, aggravated. Well, 99% of us upset, aggravated, wondering did we make the right decision. Um, you know, is is my world going to end? Am I ever going to be able to eat again? Uh, do, will I ever be able? Will I ever be able to function with these giant chunks of plastic in my mouth? The answer to all of that is yes, but not if you just sit around and watch life go by. You have to make the effort. You have to try. Yes, it hurts. You have to try. Yes, it's uncomfortable at times, but you have to try. Um, or life will pass you up because life's not going to stop just because you got dentures. Life didn't stop when I got my dentures. Life kept moving. Everything kept going forward. I had to keep pace with life in general. I was at work the same day I got my teeth ripped out and got my dentures, I was back at work. I was in hell for nine days, but I worked. I started eating solid food on day four, and it felt like I was chewing on razor blades and glass, but I kept moving forward. I wasn't going to get left behind. I didn't want to eat for a year without my teeth. I didn't want to only wear my teeth when I went to the store. I didn't want to only put my teeth in when I had company. I wanted these to be functional. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with only wearing them to the store or wearing them when you go out or wearing them when you have company. If you're comfortable with that, that's awesome. I personally made the decision that these teeth 
were here to be functional. They're not here to be pretty. Yes, they make me look a ton better. And yes, I like my smile. But the fact that they're functional was my biggest issue. I needed to know I could eat with them no matter what. So on my other channel, I'm teaching people how to eat with or without dentures. I'm doing both. Uh, showing people how to toughen their gums and things. Uh, showing how I eat in public. That's my next video coming out on, on my dentures versus food channel. And my Bill's Life Like It or Don't channel is linked in the description right under the denture fit link. My dentures versus food channel is linked in the description right underneath the denture fit link. And since I'm mentioning denture fit, this is a seamless segue by the way. Remember denture fit is having a great sale right now. You get a standard kit for 36 bucks plus a free applicator plus free shipping. That's like an extra $20 value right there. You can get a snug up kit for $48 comes with an extra applicator and free shipping. Now think about that. 48 bucks. That's four applicators, primer, and swabs. And that's less than the normal price of a standard kit. Do, do I really have to say it? Do I, do I have to say it? <laughs> That'll do it for today's video, my friends. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I hope you don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.